Today, we will determine the measure of an unknown angle formed by two non-overlapping adjacent angles, given either one or both angle measures. Use the two adjacent angles to solve for the unknown angle, angle PNM. Looking at the information given to us, we see that angle LNM is 78 degrees, and that angle PNL is 53 degrees. Because our angles both share the ray NL, we're able to say that both of our angles are adjacent, that they are next to one another. Because of that, we are able to tell what the measure of the angle PNM is by adding both the angle of angle L and N, 78 degrees, and the angle E and L, 53 degrees. By adding the two angles together, angles P e and L and angle L and N, we see that 78 degrees plus 53 degrees will give us a total of 131 degrees. So the measure of our unknown angle angle PNM is 131 degrees. If angle LNP and angle LNM are complementary, what is the measure of the unknown angle, angle LNM? Well, two angles are said to be complementary. That means that the two adjacent angles added together will give us a 90 degree angle. So knowing that angle PNM is 90 degrees, because the two angles are complementary, meaning that the sum of angle LNP and angle LNN is 90 degrees, we can subtract our known angle to figure out what our unknown angle is. So we have our 90 degrees. We're going to subtract angle P and L, 53 degrees, to get our angle LNN which is 37 degrees. If angle LNP and angle LNM are complementary, what is the measure of the unknown angle, angle LNM? Knowing that two angles are complementary tells us that the sum of the two adjacent angles will give us a total of 90 degrees, meaning that angle P and M is 90 degrees. By subtracting our known adjacent angle, we can find our unknown adjacent angle. So we take our total 90 degrees minus our known angle, 67 degrees, and that will give us our unknown angle. So 90 degrees minus 67 degrees gives us a total of 23 degrees. So angle L and M is equal to 23 degrees. If angle LNP and angle LNM are supplementary, what is the measure of the unknown angle, angle LNM? Well, when two angles are supplementary, that means that the sum of the two angles is equal to 180 degrees. So the measure of angle P and M is 180 degrees. Taking our total 180 degrees, and taking away our known angle, angle P and L, 53 degrees, we'll be able to find our unknown angle, angle L and N. So we took our total, 180 degrees, subtracted our known angle, 53 degrees, and gave us a total of 127 degrees. So our angle L and N is 127 degrees. If angle LNP and angle LNM are supplementary, what is the measure of the unknown angle, angle LNM? Again, we know that angles that are supplementary have a sum of 180 degrees, meaning that angle LNP plus angle LNM will give us 180 degrees together. So angle P and N is 180 degrees. To find our unknown angle, 
we will subtract our known angle. So we have 180 degrees minus 67 degrees to give us a total of 113 degrees. So angle L and M equals 113 degrees. 